Our winds are now off the ocean, and every so often that's going to lead to some brief downpours, but we're not expecting widespread rain over the next couple of days. Wide range in temperatures, though, with the warmer ocean temps, morning lows at the beach will actually be in the 80s, but then won't really rise all that much. Cooler temperatures inland, so a bit of a, an array of temperatures here over the next couple of days. The big takeaway from Mike Burrish is long hours of the rest of the week and into the weekend will likely be dry and looking pretty good overall for the Jaguars home opener against the Colts on Sunday, 1 o'clock kickoff on CBS 47. Temps actually below our average of about 88. Uh, Fiona now becoming a tropical storm uh, as it will uh, eventually approach uh, the Leeward Islands and the critical fork in the road that we'll have to watch for around Hispaniola, Puerto Rico area over the coming days. Follow updates on that story uh, on Jackson Mills Morning News today and again on Friday. And be with us every weekday at WOKD.com. Uh, Talking the tropics with Mike Bursch, even updates that on the weekends as well. And he'll continue to follow uh, the critical fork in the road and potential, if any, Florida impacts as a result of Fiona. We are certainly into the peak of our Atlantic hurricane season. A couple of storylines we're going to watch for you through the day today and into tomorrow. In the court system, we're continuing to watch the ongoing trial of former Clay County. County Sheriff Daryl Daniels. We've been bringing you some of the uh, uh, coverage over the last several days and we'll continue to follow that storyline. And uh, former Navy Petty Officer Brianna Williams, who initially reported her five-year-old daughter Taylor missing, was the subject of an Amber Alert frantic search in 2019. Ultimately, the five-year-old's remains were found in Alabama. Sentencing hearing getting underway starting Thursday and will continue into Friday. We'll follow that storyline as it develops. Governor DeSantis claims credit for flying uh, two plane loads of migrants up to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. The $12 million that's been appropriated by Florida lawmakers for that sort of effort going forward is the storyline we're following for you through the day as well. A lot to get to certainly today. Be listening to 104.5 FM for updates as these storylines develop and get breaking news updates in the WOKB app.